Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pat from, there it is, look, Laid Back Languages. I hope you're well. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at the reasons you are struggling to learn a language. Let's get into it. The first reason you're struggling to learn a second language is belief. You don't really believe you can do it. You're traumatized from school, having to stand up in front of class and try to speak French or Spanish or German or whatever it was and not knowing what to say, getting super embarrassed. Now you're an adult and you don't really believe you can do it. You think you're too old. You're not a language person. I've heard so many people say that. I'm not a language person, but I want to learn. I want to learn Spanish, but I'm not a language person. I beg to differ, my friend. If you are listening to this video and you understand it, you are a language person. All people are language <laughs> persons, okay? It's what we do. It's what humans do. We learn languages. So, you've got these limiting beliefs. What's the solution to this problem? The solution is challenging the beliefs. When the thought comes of, oh, oh, maybe I'm too old to learn a language. See if that's true. Look online. There are loads of people who have learned languages above the age of 50, 60, even 70, and into their 80s, people have learned languages. Me personally, I've coached people, I hope they don't mind me saying, who are mature, okay? They're over 40, 50, into their 60s and they're learning and improving. So the age is not a factor, okay? So you've got to challenge these beliefs that you've got. Another solution to changing your beliefs around language learning is to visualize yourself and actually imagine yourself speaking your target language fluently. If, for example, you want to speak Italian, instead of listening and paying attention to that negative belief, oh, I'm too old, I can't do it, etc. Visualize yourself as you would when you're a kid, yeah? Daydreaming, daydream. Imagine yourself being there in Italy, ordering pizza, drinking wine, speaking with the waiters, interacting with the local people, laughing. If you can imagine this, then you can achieve it. That's all you need to do is reprogram how your brain thinks and you'll be able to learn the language. What is the second reason language learning is hard for you. You're not consistent. A lot of people get into language learning, they think, okay, I want to learn Spanish. Great. And they go at it a hundred miles an hour. I've got, I want to learn Spanish, so I'm going to buy all these, these uh, post-it notes, stick them around my house, have all this vocabulary, and they overwhelm themselves. You've got to take language learning step by step. And think of your target language as a plant. So with a plant, you wouldn't buy a new plant and then suddenly drown it in a bucket of water. You would water it just a little bit every single day. This is consistency. A lot of people try to learn languages and they end up burning out very fast after even a few weeks. Language learning takes time and you want to build small habits every day into your routine and you'll end up learning the language. What I do at the start is try to aim for just five minutes a day contact with your target language just to build that habit. If you do more, fantastic. But I always aim to start off with between five and 20 minutes, aiming to eventually get to that 20 minute mark, even 30 minutes if, if you've got the time, to do that daily listening or reading. I prefer listening. I've talked about in other videos. Listening is extremely important when it comes to language learning. But as long as you're in contact with the language, either speaking it a little bit, reading it a little bit, or um, speaking, reading, oh, or listening, of course, my favorite, or listening to it, you will learn it. But don't rush, step by step. What is the third reason learning a language is hard for you? You've probably over glamorized it. I know it's impressive. I know it is a phenomenal skill. 
and the end results really are like magic. When you see someone speaking a language you don't understand, it's like, oh my God, what is going on? And when they switch between languages, you're like, this is insanity. It must take a lot of work to achieve what they've achieved. But that's not true. Take it off of the pedestal and realize you too can achieve the very same goal. You really don't have to put in a huge amount of effort to learn a language. If you have the correct method and you know what you're doing, if you're guided or if you've done it before, it doesn't take a lot, but it does take consistency. You've got to do it every single day and enjoy the process. A lot of people, because they put it on a pedestal, the end goal, they think, oh, I have to work really hard to get this. Um, and it's not going to be fun. Change your mindset. Realize that learning a language is a hobby. It's like any other hobby. Just because it's a phenomenal skill and the end result is incredible, it's just a hobby. So treat it as a hobby. Enjoy it. Have fun. Play in the language. Listen to music you enjoy. Listen to podcasts you like about subjects that interest you. Don't force yourself to sit down and study grammar. Sitting down and studying grammar has never worked for me, and that's not the method I teach. I preach what has worked for me, which is do lots of listening, treat the language as a hobby, and really try to enjoy speaking the language. So yeah, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, remember to like and subscribe. It helps me. My channel's little at the moment, but it's growing and growing every day, and I'm blessed to have you here with me on my journey. And if you're interested in learning French, Spanish, Italian or Brazilian, Portuguese, check out the description box below and we can book a call and talk about how you can uh, achieve this wonderful goal of speaking a language. Chat to you soon. See you next time. Ciao.